good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 34. WWE Action Figure Surgery obviously being the best customizing WWE Action Figure episodic series on the website of YouTube. And we're here back today with some epic nicks. Epicness. What the hell are you saying, Brad? You sound like a jackass. So today on episode 34 of Action Figure Surgery, guys, we do have some epic stuff going on. We got the Chase variant Dolph Ziggler in that his A. You guys know what we're going to hit with that. We got a couple Triple H's. We got HBK. We have Kane. We have some really good stuff going on today, and I'm going to show you how to fix up these figures. We're going to add some paint to some. We're going to fix up some. We're going to make these figures look 25 times better, and I'm super excited to get started on these and switch them up and do all the bull crap that we're going to be doing. I think we have, let's see, one, two, three. I think we have like five things to do here today, and it's going to be epic sauce. So you guys know how we always start these episodes by explaining exactly what we're going to be doing here today, and then we get into the processes of what we're going to do, and we show how to do it and explain the process, go through the process, show you guys how to do it, and all of the good jazz. So let's get into it, guys. Let's just start off with the man on the stretcher. I feel like we don't always start with the guy on the stretcher, but today we're, we're starting with the guy on the stretcher, okay? And this is the Chase variant. The Elite 70 Chase variant Dolph Ziggler. If you guys didn't know, we did grab this off of eBay. It was a really good deal. It was like 25 bucks. I figured, you know what, Brad? That's a good deal for me. I love Dolph Ziggler. You guys know that. The pink tights are too beautiful to turn down. So today, we're going to be fixing this guy up. First of all, the boots are not correct. They do not include the black outsoles, and that hurts my feelings. So today, we are going to be adding the black to the outsoles like we did on, I think, a former episode of Action Figure Surgery. We have our jet black apple barrel that I need a new freaking bottle of. I've had this for like four years and it's still not out. It's down to like the little bits left. And we're going to get the last little bits out, use it on this outsole, and then we will fix that up. Another thing we're going to do is fix the arms because I don't know why they do it, man. But they always, just always give Dolph Ziggler these gigantic and just asinine massive arms for no reason and we're going to switch them out for the skinnier muscular leaner arms which are way more accurate and they'll make him look 10 times better so we are going to be doing that to Dolph Ziggler and we are going to fix him up so that is what we're going to do I don't know if we'll do it first but that is definitely one of the things we're going to do here today is uh, is get this done by switching these arms and painting the boots the next thing that we're going to be doing guys is this right here you guys will see this is my 2001 era cane and this is the ringside exclusive hardcore cane and what I have with this if you guys have noticed here, I have switched out the arms. I did this the other day. I just felt like it would be a really good fix-up. I think I saw, I can't remember who did this, but if you guys don't know, Kane in 2001, the early 2000s, this man was absolutely jacked, okay? And the arms that Mattel gave him, I just felt were too skinny. So I touched it up and I added Brock Lesnar arms to this Kane figure. And it's still not completely accurate because the torso is still kind of too small in my opinion. But I do enjoy the larger arms. I think it looks okay. But I did not like the head sculpt. I think that we need a brand new masked Kane head sculpt from that era. I just cannot stand the way that Mattel's looks. I just, I, I don't know, I'm just not big on on it. So what we've done is we went out and got the Jax R3 head sculpt, which is like the best Kane head sculpt to date. Look at that head sculpt, guys. My God, that looks just like Kane. We're going to pop this off of here, and we're going to add it over here, and then later on, I'll probably touch up the paint because you guys can see the red line does not continue, and I need to finish that red line. So I'll probably do that in a later video or something, but we are going to be putting this over here and seeing what that Kane looks like and fixing that guy up and making him look 10 times better. So we are going to be doing that Kane fix up. The next thing that we're going to be doing guys is fixing up my Matt Riddle and my HBK okay so this is my Matt Riddle custom elite and I do not like this head sculpt I don't know really I, I thought that I was doing okay with it but I'm just not okay with it I just don't like the way it turned out it's just not good you can see the dried super glue around his ears so what we're going to do is we're going to pop this head sculpt off and we're going to be putting the ringside exclusive Shawn Michaels head sculpt on there and I know this looks kind of like Shawn Michaels however I think you can get away with it looking like Matt Riddle I mean I think it kind of looks like Matt Riddle he's got the longer hair. They have the same hair mold and everything, but I'm going to put this head sculpt over here, but that's not all we're going to do. Not only are we going to do that head swap, we're going to be taking my WrestleMania 30 Elite Shawn Michaels figure here from WrestleMania 14, and we're going to be popping this head sculpt onto this head, and then we're going to be flipping him around, and we're going to be painting
making these little red bands in his hair. We're going to paint that white, and then we're going to come back with a layer of green, this lime green right here, to match the DX green that he's got going all over his attire here. So we'll have like a fix-up DX Shawn Michaels. Another thing I'll probably do later on is add like a 5 o'clock shadow because that was kind of what Shawn Michaels looked like. There's sort of a 5 o'clock shadow going on, but not good enough for me, so I'll probably add that later on. But that is something else we're going to be doing here today. And the final thing that we're going to be doing, guys, we got a lot of paint work and stuff to get through, so it's going to be challenging, but we are going to do our best to get through it. And that is taking the Ultimate Edition Triple H, and we're not going to be switching the torso here today because I feel like that should be later on, or I don't know if I'm going to do that on video. Just super kind of complicated to get that on video. I know I've done torso cracks before. I'll probably do a tutorial one day, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to be switching out the legs, um, and we're not uh, we're not going to be switching out both legs. We're just going to switch out the left leg because we want the white taped leg, and we're going to switch out that, switch out the boots because these do have, you know, the little toe articulation. I don't want to lose that toe articulation. So we're going to switch the left leg, and then we're going to be adding this knee brace to the right knee of this Triple H, and then switching the boots so that we make sure that, or I guess to the left leg, we'll switch the boot. That way we get the, the toe joint and the white tape. And we're going to be giving this look of Triple H, and I want to get to that look as much as possible. I really like these trunks with the white tape and the knee brace. So that's what we're going to be going with there. And that Triple H will be accurate, and all of our figures will be fixed up. And now that we have sort of went through everything we want to do here on Action Figure Surgery, guys, let's get into our first order of business. And I don't know what the hell we're going to start with, but let's get started nonetheless. All right, guys, I apologize if you hear a little slight rumbling in the background. Somebody is taking a shower, and I'm going to go kick their ass. But seriously, though, I got the white trusty hair dryer. The first order of business is going to be switching this left leg because, again, we want that white tape look of Triple H from the early 2000s, preferably 2000s. So what we're going to do here is just kind of place it here, heat up the crotch area, get that leg ready, and then we're going to obviously slide the leg off, slide the other leg on there. Hopefully the boots get heated up, too. That way we can just do a simple pop and stop. I highly doubt it gets the boot. Maybe if we turn it like this a little bit and try to slide this in position right here, maybe it'll hold it just then or something. I don't know, but we're going to see. I, I really want to do it in one take so I don't have to reheat that up. But after we get the leg on there, then we'll come back and put the knee brace on. All right, guys, let's see if this is going to work out correctly. Again, we just want to slide this leg off right here. Shouldn't be a big deal. Got the one leg going over to this leg. Go ahead and slide this off. Don't be a hobo. All right, got that. Now we're going to pop this onto here. What kind of sucks, though, is now his, you know, his other leg on his other figure. God in heaven, that's tough to get on there. Now his other leg is going to be weird, but let's see if it got it. Did it get all right, got that. Now we got to slide this knee pad off. John Brown it. I forgot about the John Brown knee pad. These knee pads are hobos. All right, uh, let's go ahead and pop this boot off, actually. All right, got that. Now we got to slide. God, I freaking the knee pads, man. The knee pads. All right, so we got to go over here, get this knee pad. And I apologize for the jackassery on the lighting. It's because I have to hook the hairdryer up, so I have to unplug one of the lamps. Need to get a John Brown power strip over here or something. But there's that knee pad. Going to slide this knee pad on now. And I hope you guys can see well. I, I, again, that's so lamey, damey, guys. Didn't I say I needed to fix the lighting last time? What am I doing? We're failing him. We're failing. The boot's not going to go back on, and you're going to be upset. You better get it on there. Put some pressure on yourself. Slide it up. All right. And actually, I don't even know if freaking, like, will these two articulated boots even go on legs like this? I feel like they would, but yeah, okay, they do. All right, so that's freaking epic sauce, and they look the same color, so that's good. All right, now we're going to go over here and see if this leg will pop over here on this Triple H. Probably not, because it's cooled off now. Don't snap the leg off. Don't snap the leg off. It's funny that we, like, force it, because we could easily just heat it back up. Like, you don't have to force it, you stupid idiot jackass. We're that lazy, Brad. We can't even take three seconds to just heat it up a little bit longer instead of sacrificing a whole elite figure. God, what, what, what kind of world do we live in? So getting this knee pad back onto here. So now his, his again, his right leg, left leg. His left leg won't have the, you know, won't have the knee tape, but it's not a big deal. I have like three of this figure. I'm a big Triple H guy. I love Triple H so much. One of my favorites of all time. So I don't mind having a little different Triple H there from WrestleMania 32. But now that this Triple H is done, now guys, we're going to come over here and we're going to add our 
our knee brace right here. And after we add the knee brace, this Triple H will be done and we'll take a closer look at him at the end here. But I want to make sure that I get the thigh and the knee. I think this is how it goes. Get that over the heel, slide this up. And once we get this up, again, a lot of people like to have like the, you know, the larger knee pads, but there it is. It's on there now. A lot of people like to have the larger knee pads, but I'm not, you know, I'm not about that life, man. I like the articulation. Don't even know what this knee brace came with. All right, guys, moving on to our next order of business. It is going to be to heat up this Matt Riddle head scan. Matt Riddle looks like a jackassery. What was I thinking? It actually doesn't look that bad. I just was trying something a little bit different here. But we're going to heat up HBK and Matt Riddle's head sculpt again. Hopefully they stay there. And, you know, they're kind of thicker, so we're probably going to have to give it, you know, a little bit more time than we normally would. And not only that, guys, we're going to go ahead and heat up this head sculpt as well because, again, we're going to pop that onto the figure. And, uh, or should I paint it up first? Nah, I'm going to just stick it on there. F it. We're going to pop that head sculpt onto Shawn Michaels, put this head sculpt over here, throw this head sculpt in the trash, and then we're going to switch all that up, and then eventually we're going to paint that head sculpt that we're switching on to the Shawn Michaels. Alright guys, we'll see if that's long enough. Starting off with Shawn Michaels right here. Just gonna pop this off and holy hell and hell and high and farts and bags. Alright, that was hot as shiznit. 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 Alright, now we're gonna... Oh my god, his torso is like freaking fire flames nasty. Alright, now we're gonna try and pop this WrestleMania head sculpt on here. Got that. Not really, uh, god, that neck. Does that... Uh, I guess it doesn't sit that high, does it? Nah, it looks alright. Alright, coming over here to Matthew Riddle, we're gonna try and snap this off. Oh, it just fell off. Oh. Okay. Alright, so popping on the Shawn Michaels head sculpt over here. I've seen multiple people use this head sculpt for Matt Riddle, and I just I just like it better, man. That's, that's just ten times better, and we'll take a closer look at that, and I'll explain the formula so you can make your own Matt Riddle if you would like. But I just think that works so much better, man. Look at this freaking head skull. I mean, it looks like Matt Riddle, like when you don't have it on a head, or on a body, I should say. I don't know, man. But now we have this head sculpt on our Shawn Michaels. Guys, we're going to paint this up later on, and then, again, I'll add, like, a 5 o'clock shadow later. But we're not going to do any painting right now. We'll do a paint compilation later on in the video. For now, we're going to move on to our Kane figure and our Dolph Ziggler, and then we'll get into our paint jobs. All right, guys, what we're doing next is we're going to be heating up the Jax R3 Kane head sculpt and the smaller Dolph Ziggler arms and the larger Dolph Ziggler arms. Hopefully, you can get it all in one here so we don't have to take an extra segment out of the video. Once this is complete, we will pop this Kane head sculpt onto the Kane body. We will switch the arms out. Then it will be time to paint our Dolph Ziggler boots, our HBK head sculpt. And I'm not going to paint the Kane head scan. I just don't know if I want to do that. So we are going to paint the rest, though, and get all that stuff done. But let's go ahead and heat this up and get this switch going. All right, guys, we're going to see how this turned out. Again, I'm not sure exactly how it is, and uh, I'm, I'm afraid this cane head sculpt is going to be on fire here. And, oh, my God, it actually popped right off. But the way I look at it now, I don't know if this is going to go on here the way I want it to. Is this going to even go on the way that it should? Am I going to have to modify this head sculpt? Oh, my God, look at that. I'm going to have to modify the shit out of this. Oh, that sucks ass. That's all right. You know what? We can still get it done. I still like the way the head sculpt looks. I mean, just look at it again. We're going to look at it closer. But, God, that looks so much better than what we got. Anyways, let's switch these Dolph Ziggler arms before we run out of time. We're, we're probably already wasted time. Come on, go over here, guys. We're going to pop the right arm off and this one. Okay, so it actually did work out. We're going to pop this one on here, and that worked out pretty good, it looks like. Going over to the other arm, falls right off. That's what you love to see. Coming over here, go ahead and pop this arm on, and there we go. So, our Dolph Ziggler has the smaller arms. And now what we have to do, guys, is we have to paint up. Oh, <coughs> We have to paint up our Dolph Ziggler boots in black, add those black outsoles like we like to see because they didn't add it for us. And we have to add our uh, lime green to these little buttons on the back because the red just totally throws everything off and it upsets my family. So we're going to add the green here, add the black there, and I guess I'm going to try my best to go ahead and mod this cane head sculpt. So again, we're going to have to mod this cane head sculpt. Very unfortunate. You hate to see it. Did not expect that, but I'm going to have to like carve all this out. Not a huge deal, but I can get that done. And then then we will uh, take a closer look at everything we've done here today, guys. So what we're going to do is go ahead and queue up the compilation of painting all this stuff up. And then we will see you guys for the final segment of WWE Action Figures. 
surgery. Almost vomited. Alright guys, well my camera did die while filming the paint job and I wasn't gonna stop the paint job, you know, so I went ahead and finished up the paint job. You guys saw what we did for HBK. You didn't get to see what we did for Ziggler for real, but we did get the outsoles finished. The outsoles look so much better. I mean, my god, the black, I can't believe they left off the black. It does definitely look better. It's still sealing on the bottom, by the way, but the Dolph Ziggler arms also look fantastic. I love that we got the smaller arms on there. I am really excited and happy with the way the Ziggler turned out, you know, it's just, it's, god dang, dude, if you don't have the Elite 70 Chase variant Dolph Ziggler, guys. You gotta track it down. If you have a way to track it down, track it down. Allie, what are you doing? Are you eating foam? Anyway, she's rubbing on the tripod, so it's probably gonna knock it here in a second, and I'm gonna have to get upset. Moving on to the next... Oh, Dolph Ziggler's going down. Moving on to the next thing, guys. We do have Triple H right here, and I think he turned out all right. Can we get the camera to move up just a tad, Brad? Come on. All right, so taking a look at Triple H, guys. I think he turned out great. I love the white underneath the knee pad. I think this works out great. The skin tones are the same, so it's the exact same leg mold as the Elite WrestleMania 32 Triple H. We have the knee brace on there now. Looks a lot better. I may switch on larger knee pads down the road, but again, for me, it doesn't really affect me that much. Really like the way he came out. Our Triple H now is looking great. Now all we have to do is switch out that torso one day, and it will be all fantastical. So moving on to our next thing. God, Ziggler. God, Lee, man. Moving on to our Matt Riddle and John Brown, Shawn Michaels. I don't know why I said John Brown. Shawn Michaels right here, guys. Uh, starting off with Matt Riddle, guys, if you want to know how to make an Elite Matt Riddle, very simple formula. As you can see, ringside exclusive or Elite 19 slash Lost Legends, Shawn Michaels head sculpt. Elite 45 Seth Rollins torso, shoulders, crotch, and upper thighs. Elite Ric Flair arms. Elite Ric Flair thighs and knees. And then a Jax UFC figure, Shogun Roa, lower legs and feet. Very easy formula. The height looks good. You can see here compared to Shawn Michaels. It's just a really nice Matt Riddle formula. I do have the mushroom tattoo right there. And I'm going to definitely use this until we get an elite Matt Riddle. And I'll use this until we get his basic figure in which I'll just do a head swap. We'll do that on action figure surgery. We'll fix up our elite Matt Riddle that's a custom. But for now, we will leave him like this. And I'm happy with it. I think it's a pretty good formula. I like the white and gold trunks. It looks like, you know, Matt Riddle. If you get the Elite 45 Seth Rollins, there is going to be an SR logo right here. So you do have to ask tone that off and you do have to acetone the tattoo the tattoo's still in the back there but that's not a big deal to me i could still take that off at any moment but Shawn michaels turned out great guys i like this head sculpt better on this figure and i love how the lime green paint turned out on the hair ties i think that looks great Allie, what are you doing over there anyways i think the hair ties came out way better i love the lime green it ties in perfectly with the dx and everything like that and i don't have my wrestlemania 14 Shawn michaels anymore so using this head sculpt i'm glad i got you know some usage out of it after making a custom out of mine and 
and now we are moving on to Kane, and this sucks, guys. I mean, I don't really know how to fix this. I'm going to have to, you know, get with some people who have done this before, but you can see that the head sculpt looks great. I think once we get it onto this body, uh, I think it's going to complete it. Again, the bigger arms just look so much better. I love the Brock Lesnar arms for this Kane, and once we get this Kane head sculpt onto here, he's going to look even better, and I just, I got, I like this so much better. Just got to figure out how to mod that head sculpt, and it's going to be over for all you hoes. And that pretty much does it, guys, because, uh, I mean, who, who cares about this? WrestleMania 32 Triple H with the no leg tape on the on the left leg there. Looks a bit weird, but the rest of our stuff did turn out successful. I would say it's a successful day of surgery. We did all the good things. I hope you guys did learn some stuff from this video. I have plenty of other action figure surgery episodes to go through. Just go click the playlist. You can run through all of them from episode 1 through 34. We have other customizing tips videos on the channel. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.